I didn't choose to become homeless. It was through circumstances, a recent death, and a mourning period, which led me into a period of idleness. So I got behind on my rent for a couple of months. I also lost my job at that time, and all these things culminated into one. So this is basically me trying to get myself back on my feet again. Have you seen that vigilante man? I was sleeping in an old abandoned churchyard and a subway or wherever I could sleep. But I tried to keep myself to myself, which is not easy in an urban environment. I was attacked in the park by a guy who approached me and started doing drugs and then started to touch me up and wouldn't leave me alone. Another homosexual came up and touched him in his genitalia. He then got really angry with me and if it wasn't for the police, I'd probably be dead. They responded within 30 seconds and I owed them my life. I would like in life to achieve something other than being a homeless beggar. To achieve academic worth and dignity, I'd like to have a regular job, a stable apartment, and anything beyond that's just a luxury. All I ask is some shelter, some water, the right to read the Bible, the right to study, and to work hard. The worst thing for living on the streets is meeting the challenge of the spirit. If you think all is lost, then all is lost. But if you think there is hope, like Pandora's box, there is that mustard seed, and all it takes is just the small, tiniest mustard seed. And if you have that and it's nurtured from tiny acorns, mighty oaks grow. So you just, it's a battle of the spirits. You only go as low in life as you allow yourself to go. It's up to you to pick it yourself up. No one's going to do it for you.